a very good morning from me and Mr. Vladimir. He is working on some grapes. He's got some fresh blueberries, some peach crisps, the freeze-dried peach crisps, and I also gave him his serving of organic creamies. So, good morning, everybody. Looks like he is eating his grapes. Today, if everything goes well, we will be uploading, no, filming and hopefully uploading his nine month update and also I ended up filming another thing yesterday but my stupid screenshot won't I can't get it properly like how I wanted to so hopefully I can do that soon and I can get that up so keep your eyes peeled Aiden is down for his first nap and Vladimir is down here with me Scarlett leave him alone please I'm gonna make lunch it's so hot I had him I was wearing him on my back in hopes that he would fall asleep oh lord had you discovered I'm going to have to uh, put the things on this so he doesn't open or close it. My son will not have fingers. Perhaps this wasn't the best of, of ideas. Someone's eating a banana mum mum. Mmm, is it yummy? Yeah, it's yummy. Ladies and gentlemen, Raymond's home. But the boys are asleep, so we got to be quiet. What's going on, man? Aside from the drama that I'll tell you guys all about in a second. Uh, Vladimir um, exploded in his car seat and then I picked him up and it's all over him and I literally you guys I thought we were coming to Whole Foods to pick up like the rest of the prize package for whoever won the vegan thing which we have got to figure out when we get home we're gonna put it in a generator so whatever but we came to Whole Foods to pick up the rest of the snacks and I'm like oh I'm gonna be in and out real quick what have you he doesn't need an outfit this and the other and boy I am sorely freaking mistaken. Out of all the times to not bring this boy an outfit, why is today the day? Why? Today has been a day filled of uh, pretty funny uh, things. It rained today even though you wouldn't be able to tell because it's hot again. And Vladimir blew out like you guys saw. But um... Well, he sneezed on my elbow. I sneezed on Raymond's elbow. It which was I a wet one too. It wasn't like she held it back. No, it was full force. Like, I still have her DNA on me. Stop. It wasn't that bad. But anyway, so um... Uh, we played out in the rain, me and Vladimir, Aiden went to his dad's house, uh, where to begin with that? Um, so you guys all know the drama of him not taking a bottle and me working on getting Aiden to drink a bottle so he can spend more time with his father. So long story short, um, he's been going over there for many more hours than originally because, and I quote, and this is not a quote from myself, but a quote from his dad, that he now is drinking the bottle. And that is literally one of the last things we had actually talked about a while ago. Aside from like the occasional, how's Aiden, his teeth, blah, blah, blah. Like that was literally one of the last things we actively had a conversation about. So with that little bit of information in your mind, let's pretend you're taking care of Aiden and he's been fussy all day and he's been sleeping quite a lot these past few days. Do you A, wake him up before his dad comes so you can feed him because he'd been asleep for like, I think two hours, or B, do you let him continue to sleep because clearly he needs to sleep whether he's growing or because his teeth hurt and just let his father feed him at his house? Well, I picked B because like I said, made such a huge deal of his son being able to eat from the bottle now that he should have the ability to spend more time with him and that was literally his entire like defense on why my sister should give him more time and she did so long story short Aiden did not eat before I like took him to his dad's house and his dad knew that he was sleeping and I had told him that he's probably gonna want to eat as soon as he got home and he said that was fine so he had ended up having to bring him back sooner and I guess he had talked to my sister Jenny and just said something around the lines of how he doesn't feel comfortable with they or the way they are taking care of his son now, they being me and Raymond I did not I was not aware that Raymond uh, took care of Aiden like I mean you know what I mean that sounds terrible but I was not aware that he's the one who's breastfeeding him and changing him while you know everyone's at work so it's essentially me and apparently he doesn't feel comfortable about the way I'm taking care of his son which is ridiculous and whatever. So that pissed off Jenny. So she went off on him via text message and I decided to send him a text message because he didn't say this to me 
even though I'm the one who took care of him. It's not like Jenny was the one who left him sleeping for two hours and gave it to him, gave Aiden to him. No, it was me, so I don't know why he didn't say anything to me. And I had seen him when he had come to drop him off as well, so whatever. So I sent him a, a text message. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I have no problem feeding Aiden, which I obviously don't, before you come to pick him up. I'm like, I was just under the assumption that since you had last said that he took a bottle, that it would be no problem for you to feed him at your house. But for next time, I will make sure he's fed. And he hasn't said anything to me, but it was just really, uh, just annoyed me. And I have like a stupid headache from it. But happier days because we are going to be choosing, well, not we, but the universe will be choosing um, the person who won the schnackage. So good luck to everybody out there. And we'll find out in a little bit who won. All right, I got my little list and everyone's lovely name and number is on there. Everyone's been assigned a number, also yep. been assigned a separate number and another separate number if they commented on and liked our photo on Instagram. So the few of you guys that did, thank you very much. And the ones who just commented on uh, YouTube, that's good too. Your entry has been included. So go ahead, Rebersh. All right. Are you going to film it? Yep. Okay, number five, and number five is... Eve Bar! Yay! Yay! Ooh, here's the prize package, which kind of makes me low-key jealous, because I wish I could eat them, but I can't. Raymond's watching Sister Wives, and it is late. I am going off to edit the vlog for tonight. Uh, Raymond's a little bit butthurt. He had an uh, outfit that he wanted Vladimir to wear for his first birthday and I guess um, he's looking for it. Because so I just emailed the people on Etsy to see if they could uh, make a matching card to go along with um, the actual invitation because as far as gifts go, we not really want any gifts. Well, we do, but we want certain gifts. That might sound terrible, but... You know, I mean, you guys have seen my house when I pull out all the toys for the kids to play with. I am not lacking in toys in any way, shape, or form. And if you guys could see his drawers, he has got clothes for a while. And hopefully, he stays in 18 for a while. I mean, I wouldn't mind clothes for when he's older. But even then, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah. So, what we're asking for, if someone does want to get him a gift, I'm really, really trying to get that, uh second or that first living room set up as a playroom for them especially because he's gonna start getting more mobile and I'm like ah, I need a place to throw him in and contain him so that's hopefully uh that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna make a registry with things that I I want for there you know what have you and if that's not what someone wants to do we're asking for memories and for what is it called experiences so we'd rather them take him to the park or, you know, to the museum or to the wetlands. You know, something that, something more oh than, God, he, mon found it. he found the outfit. Something more than, you know, just a gift. And if that still doesn't set well with um, our invited, another thing we're asking is if neither of those two sound good to them, for them to donate to a local organization here called the Baby's Bounty, which helps um, babies born to um, lower income families um, have things that they need. They provide them with things like a car seat, cribs, um, a weather appropriate or a pro weather appropriate clothes, you know, diaper bags, things like that, a bathtub, and I think that's great. Uh, after I had miscarried with the uh, wildfire. I was feeling kind of low with myself and I know a few of my friends had donated on my behalf there and then I know this past Christmas one of our other friends had donated um, in honor of Vladimir instead of getting him like a gift they donated there because my little boy is just he's good he doesn't really need anything you know and it's always good to give to people who are less fortunate because you know who knows when you'll need help and it's always good to help people regardless of whether or not it ever comes back I think that's one thing that I always hate using it's like you know because people will say that it's like well you should help out all the time because you never know when you need help 
and I feel like that's bad. Like, I mean, I get what they're trying to say, but I feel like you should help regardless. You should help all the time, whether or not that ever comes back to you as good karma or, you know, it's just one of those things. That's how I feel personally, but I am always getting stepped on as you guys can clearly see from today. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Congratulations to our winner once again. And we will see you uh, tomorrow. Also, you guys should follow me on Instagram. I'm leaving a secret, secret uh, sneak peeks of things to come. <laughs> Bye, you guys.